Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about two things to keep you warm this winter when you're experiencing van life. Now a lot of us like to go to the desert and have a really wonderful winter time that's a little bit warmer. However, not everyone has the luxury of doing so and even sometimes when you are in the desert it can get a little cold. So today we're going to be talking about two things that I have in my rig back here to keep me warm this winter that also could keep you warm. Now let's start off with a little bit of context. This is my 2020 NV200. I have named it Dimples and my small tiny NV200 does not have any insulation. I chose to do this for a very specific set of reasons and so I find creative ways to stay warm during the winter months instead of having the traditional insulation. And today I have two things that I've been trying out over the past couple of months that have been super super handy. Now both of these things are attainable and I will leave links to them in case you're interested. These are also things that can bring you a little bit of value outside of the van. They don't just have to be used inside and that's why I think these are super valuable to all of us who are out there on the roads traveling and enjoying life. Now we'll start small. Inside this package is something that I actually had gifted to me that I was super excited to try out. This was a Christmas gift that came in a little bit early and after I opened it up I could see exactly why it was sent to me because it's perfect for the everyday outdoor explorer. This this tiny, small but mighty device actually is a hand warmer. Now unlike a lot of hand warmers that you pick up along the way that are disposable, this one is a multi-use item so you get a lot more bang for your buck using it. And as you can see, it's just very small and can easily fit in even the smallest of hands. Just for reference, I have tiny, tiny hands, guys. Now as you can see, there is a tiny little hole here and this is where the cord actually connects to it so that you can charge it. I can plug this into any of my power stations and get it to a full charge or if I'm at base camp I can plug it into a wall plug. Now after you have charged it there's a tiny button right here on the front that you can hold down and as you do you'll see that some little lights come on. In fact there's one red light, two red lights, and three red lights. The lights aren't super bright but especially at nighttime when you're really needing these it's super easy to tell how strong these actually are. On the third setting you're going to notice an immediate difference in the feel of the top. However I will say that on the third setting you also get a little bit too toasty so I usually back it back down to one or two personally. Now how do I use these in a practical way? Well when I'm inside the van and I'm getting ready for bed I usually we'll just put this in like the hoodie pocket of like an oversized hoodie so I can keep the warmth inside and I'm oh so cozy. But another way that you can also use these is with a simple pair of regular gloves. Now you can pick gloves that have full fingers or partial fingers. It's really up to you. I personally prefer these and, and let me show you why real quickly. As I put this glove on my hand you'll notice there is a full thumb there but the fingers are still accessible and it has this little little pullover mitten. So whenever I'm out and about and I'm filming I need to have access to my fingers so that I can click buttons and make sure that I'm recording for you guys. So these are perfect for me and I just picked these up at Walmart so if you are interested in these little fingerless gloves they're super inexpensive there. I don't have a link for them though however. Now what I do with this is I take this little hand warmer and actually place it inside the glove at a comfortable place usually kind of sideways like this so I can wrap my fingers around it as I'm moving so it's a more comfortable fit. And then if I'm super cold I can do it like this also. And so this is how I typically use these whenever I'm out and about moving around and, and not inside the van. Much like the hand warmers that you get that you open up and shake that are disposable you can use these in pretty much any way shape or form as long as they're not making direct skin to skin contact for an extended amount of time. So one of the things that I can also do is I can take these and pop it into a pocket, a just like random pocket. And this will keep me a bit warmer up in this region. Or if I have on pants that have pockets, I can put them in the pants pockets also. So this is super handy and again can be adjusted in three separate ways. Highly recommend this. It's not very expensive and it does make a huge difference on warming up yourself during those cold days both in the van 
and outside. Now, if you get super cold though, you might want to be able to warm a bit larger of a surface. For example, I get super cold and I just want to retract into a little ball and this next item makes it a little bit warmer and easier to do that. In fact, if you have any kind of portable power at all, this next device is perfect. You do have to have portable power for it to work, but if you do, oh boy, warmth is, is right around the corner for you. In fact, let's just have a little bit of a Mr. Rogers moment where we put on another layer. In fact, this layer right here is the key to staying warm with your whole body. And it's not just an insulated vest like you see on the random everyday like store shop. This one is, is a little different. And this brand right here, this Duace, it is definitely changing the way that I personally view winter going forward. Now the way this works is super simple. You see right here there is a tiny USB cord. You take the cord and you plug it into your power bank and after you've plugged it in you just turn on the power bank and there's a little pocket here that it can sit in. After you get it all set up into the pocket then you are ready to be cozy and warm. But there's one more step to achieving your cozy warmness and it is right here on the side. Notice there are three small buttons and each of those buttons have a design on them. This one has a design that is more so on the mid torso area by the stomach. This one on the shoulders and this one on the back. And each one of these controls a zone of the vest as a whole. So Bunny, what does that mean? What do the zones mean? That's probably what you're asking. Well, what that means is as I am wearing this vest right here, I can actually turn on and off the various buttons of where I would like to be warm. So if I am super, super cold, I might want to activate all of them. However, if I am sitting in a vehicle and I am up against the back of a seat, I may only want to turn on these pieces on here and here. You get to pick your own adventure on warmth and I really like this. Now as you do pick that adventure of warmth you'll notice that the buttons actually have the ability to change colors. They go from blue to green to red and each one can be controlled separately. So you can literally again pick your adventure when it comes to the warmth and how warm you actually want to be. Not to mention the vest itself is made out of a very nice fluffy warm material which holds in all of the heat that you are producing to keep you cozy. Now, let me tell you my personal story about warmth. I am a very cold person just by nature, and so a lot of times it is harder for me to get my extremities warm, and if I do get my extremities warm, sometimes it's harder for me to get my body itself to keep that heat in. So whenever I was looking at this vest independently, I was like, this has a lot of value to me because I can literally control what portion of my body is receiving that heat and then when I couple it with those hand warmers and some gloves I can really get quite toasty. Now of course I'm always going to wear a beanie of some kind whenever I'm trying to stay warm because you lose a lot of heat through your head. However whenever your body is all snuggly and cozy and you feel good you just have a better time and really getting out there in those 30 degree temperatures 20 degree temperatures I was really feeling like this was probably one of the best things that I had because it does keep me where I don't feel any of that coldness from the outdoors just like cutting through my body. The layer itself is strong enough that it keeps that cold breeze from just like going through and then the heated sections also in those areas that are getting hit constantly by the wind are kind of working to make sure that you regulate a lot better. And so this is definitely one that I would suggest to you guys. Now just to answer a couple other questions. Yes, you can wear this in the van or outside of the van. Yes, you can wear this on a hike or by a campfire. And because you can regulate each one of those things, you can adjust accordingly. For example, whenever I am out and about and I am hiking hard, I know that I start to warm up. That means I would need less of the zones, even though I might start out with more of the zones because it's a crisp, cold morning. So as it gets warmer in the day, I can cut them off and eventually 
take this off. It is a very lightweight material, so it does crunch down very small, so I can put it in my hiking pack and then I am good to go. But then whenever I get back to camp, and again, it's cold because the sun's starting to come down, pop this guy right back out, plug it back in, and we are good to go. So let's take a closer look at the material itself. You can see here that it is a silver and black mesh material. This is actually very good because it reflects the heat back to you with the silver, which is very nice. And then when you're looking at each of the individual zones, for example, this is part of the next zone, it has a tiny flap right here that the heater actually fits into. It's not bulky at all, and you can actually barely feel that there's actually anything in there. I feel a tiny cord connector here and otherwise it feels kind of like one of those little medical devices that they put on you to check your heart. Very small, very thin, and as you can see, super compact. Now these are sewn in throughout the entirety of the vest. So like here's some of the ones that are on the front. It's a panel about this big, again, super thin. It doesn't impede you being able to use the fully functional pockets. And as you can see, I, they're kind of deep pockets, so I can put a lot of travel gear in there also. Now, as I turn the pocket inside out again it is lined with this material that has the silver surface to reflect the heat back so all in all this this right here is absolutely spectacular and I'm super happy to add it to my own personal travel kit but I wanted to share it so that in case you are looking for something similar you would know that this brand does in fact work super well. I hope you have found today's video extremely useful. I know that as I move into the winter months I'm always seeking out things that will work to increase my fun on the road. You know we're not here for a long time but we are here for a good time but if we're sitting there shivering everywhere we go that's not quite as fun as it could be. So I hope these things are helpful to you. And if they are, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also hit subscribe if you're interested in more tips. I'm going to be going to Arizona pretty soon. So you're gonna see a lot of fun in the desert. And I'm gonna take you with me. Until next time guys, bye.